I'm thankful for the struggle overall. There's times I'm not, but I, I'm thankful for the struggle just to help with the priorities. Meet the Ostriker family, Jonathan, Kelsey, Teddy, Milena, and Hank. It's Henry. Sorry, Henry. This journey is a winding road. Let's start here. Johnny is from Germany. Sally, what's good? Kelsey from right here in Colorado. Here's where things get fun. Jonathan and Kelsey met while traveling separately in Australia. Through connections, they reunited back in Colorado then moved to Germany, then off to Texas, and eventually boomerang back to Colorado. Whew. Come on, let's get to the good part. In 2016, along came Hank. No, it's Henry. 2018, we welcome Lena. Mm. In 2021, Theodore enters the crew. Everybody good, we all caught up, nice. We haven't been in a situation where we've had more money than we know what to do with. I still, sometimes I tied and then it's like, oh, okay, how are, you gotta provide God, because for us, a couple hundred dollars, here, like, it means a lot. Mama Kelsey is a stay-at-home mama. What are these? What color is it? Jonathan is a security guard, working hard just to make ends meet. Somehow he, he's able to make it all work so, so we can pay all the bills. Sometimes I don't know how, but God's providing, uh, uh, even though we have a very low income. God is totally trustworthy. I mean, he's taking care of us 100%. Like every family, every month, the Ostrikers have money coming in and bills piling up. But before they deal with this, they always give this. How does this add up? Yeah, Kelsey and Jonathan came to see me probably two or three weeks ago. Meet Michael Kane, Flatiron CFO, the money guy, and arguably the wisest man in the building. I said, I, I just got to stop and ask you guys, why are you giving to the church when every month and for what they told me for years, they're they're just scraping by, right? And that's when uh, Kelsey told me she says because it's not ours. And I was like, wow, I can count the number of time on one hand that somebody has done or has been in that situation and has still been faithful to God. I just had the, the complete wrong mindset about it. It was important to tithe, but I expected something back, especially in the financial aspect. The biggest change to me came from changing my mind from away from the prosperity gospel to he's sovereign and he's almighty and he is the creator of the universe and he doesn't owe me nothing. It's not a give to, to get kind of a thing. Like I do totally believe in the the principle of sowing and reaping and I we have sown faithfully and our harvest might look different than we expect or just come later than we expect and it's worth it because of who he, he is and what he's doing and just sometimes there's like a there's this heavy burden of the finances but there's also a freedom in just like having the mindset of god it's yours it's almost the widow's might right where you go you could use that for so much more why are you giving to god and again the story is it's it's not it's not mine it's his 